And we're going. And we're not going. Hey, how you doing? I'm Andy Seymour. Spent most of my life behind bars, mixing drinks and making people happy. It's been a revolution in our industry in the last several years. Bartenders reclaiming their craft, taking the idea of technique, of flavor, of ingredients, and pushing it to the very edge, and then going over the edge just to see how far they can take our industry. And there's some prime examples of that going on right here in New York City, where bars and bartenders are making cocktails out of things that you have to absolutely see to believe. We're down here at Gold Bar, where our buddy Tim Cooper is making drinks out of meat. Drinks out of what? Very well. All right, man, I'm gonna cut to the chase. I know you're doing that drink with the pork. I gotta taste it, man. Yo, let's get piggy with it. Ah, uh, oh, that's good. <laughs> So this drink is called Born Under a Star, and what we have here is guanciale, which is a salted inner pork cheek from a little piggy. The backbone of the Born Under the Star is the fat wash Campari. So fat washing is a process of infusing alcohol with cooked fat. So I empty a bottle of Campari into a container, I pour the five ounces of melted fat into the container, and then I cover it and stick it into the freezer for a few hours. And what happens is that the fat will coagulate at the top, separate, but the flavor will be left behind. And what I'm gonna do is remove this top layer of fat. Yeah, because that, that's not tasty. That's not tasty. That's not for the people. And the cheesecloth is basically gonna grab all those leftover fat molecules. Look at the pour. It's looking glorious. What's next? We're gonna make it? We're gonna taste this thing? Oh yes, we're gonna make this, but I'm not gonna do it. I have my head bartender, Jedi, Remy Shobatan, who will be behind the bar making it happen. Because one drink is too easy for the Jedi, we're gonna have him make two. So Remy's cracking an egg white into the tin for a different cocktail he's gonna make, which is called Shrub Your Shoulders. Turning back to Born Under a Star, we're gonna start off with Sweet Vermouth. Next up, we're gonna go on to the fat washed in Campari. And then finally, we're gonna round it off with some Vita Mezcal. Ooh, watch the jigger flip. Do it, Remy. Moving back to the second drink, Shrub Your Shoulders, Remy's gonna add the winter citrus shrub. A shrub is an age old preservation technique that consists of fruit, vinegar, sugar. In this case, our shrub is tangerine juice, blood orange vinegar, sugar, and a little Amaro. Then we're gonna follow that up with some gin. We're gonna dry shake that, which is a technique that's used to essentially whip, whip an egg white into other ingredients. Icing drinks down, capping them off, spanking the tins. Could you even imagine if he had three arms what this man would be capable of? The rule of thumb with stirring and shaking is that you stir anytime you have a spirit on spirit cocktail. You shake anytime you have any type of citrus or fruit component in a cocktail. That looks good. All right, man, it's uh, time for the fun part. Let's yes, do yes. a little tasting, shall we? Guys, Tim, yeah, thank cheers. you for the hospitality. Yes. Remy, thank, thank you for, you. Thank for, you. for thank you the for magic coming. you're it's working back there. Truly a pleasure. Here we go, born under a star. Oh man, that is nice. It's good. So you, I mean, you clearly taste the mezcal. Uh, that smoke is the backbone of the drink, and the and the vermouth kind of feeds in with that bitter sweetness. Uh, but I, what I love the 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 infused, the fat washed Campari, just because for me, I can taste the 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 pork flavor coming through. But to me, the texture of it is really what what makes that drink so spectacular. Uh, I got the idea because every you know every village I went to when I was when I was in Oaxaca visiting. Uh, Mescal distillation. There were happy little pigs frolicking all over the place in all of these villages. And, you know, so it's just a big part of the culture down there. It works really well with Campari because you have that bitter element. Obviously, the pig provides the fat element. There's a beautiful contrast there. And I decided, why not? Why not? You why know not? What I'm why not? An amazing program. Really well thought out. And execution, obviously, second to none. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for. for allowing me to be here. Uh, looks like the cameraman's ready to drink, so let's do this quick. Don't forget to click subscribe below so you can catch our next crazy bartender doing their next crazy trick as we go behind the drink. Hey, yeah, hey, 
hear ye. We hereby proclaim the why would ye eat that gauntlet seriously freaking funny. Watch it. How stinky is this fish? So nasty it's been outlawed in parts of Sweden. See who goes for a second bite. With four awesome slider recipes, this episode of My Ultimate Sandwich is a lot of burger bang for your buck. Red Bull gives you wings, but this cocktail recipe gets you up in the air. Literally. See what we did there? Subscribe for more free tasted treats.